Hi everyone, it's Darby from RejoiceAndCreate.com and today I'd like to share this little project with you. It's a candy cane in the shape of a J, which stands for Jesus, who was so great in power, yet humbled himself to be born as a human among us so that we could have eternal salvation. And I just think this is a very sweet thing to give to your faith formation class or your friends or nieces, nephews, grandkids. I think it's very sweet. And it's very easy to make. We're not doing any stamping today, and this will go very quickly. So let me show you what we need. We'll start with a piece of cardstock that is 2 inches wide by 8 inches long, and this one's in crumb cake. I have a piece of designer series paper, and this one's from the Bee Mary, and this is 1 and 7 eighths inches wide by 6 inches long. And I picked a subtle pattern because I don't want it competing. And actually, this one was perfect because it reminds me of the stars at night. I used um, a one inch circle of gold foil, as well as a three quarter inch circle of berry vanilla. I used a star from the Starlight die set, and I cut out a gold foil. And for the manger, I have a piece of early espresso, which is one and a half inches wide by one and a quarter inches tall. I used Daffodil Delight and the Daisy Punch to create kind of a radiance behind our Lord on this one. But for this one, I'm using the Starburst Punch and punched it out of Daffodil Delight. And I held it together on this one using the Year of Cheer washi tape. But for this one, I'm going to show you how to use a, a piece of designer series paper. And if you want to use a design, designer series paper instead, it's a half inch strip by six inches long. All right, let me show you how it's done. I've scored my strip of cardstock at three quarters of an inch and one and one eighth of an inch. And let me go ahead and fold those. And that makes a little pocket for the candy cane. And the candy cane I'm using is actually one of the Brock's candy canes and is about six inches long by about one and three quarters of an inch wide. And that's why we, that's for the size of this. Now on the top of mine, because I made a loop for hanging, I actually put it into the scalloped tag topper punch. But you don't have to, you can just round the corners. But if you do want to hang it and you don't have um, the scallop tag topper punch, just go ahead and round the corners and punch a hole in the center and it will accomplish the same thing. All right, let's go ahead and put our designer series paper on. And I'm gonna go ahead and round the top two corners. You can use any corner rounder you have. And let's go ahead and put that on. And I centered it from side to side and I put it just right above the score line. Now let me bring back my other one and put it over here. And the next thing I did was put the Daffodil Delight piece behind there. So let me go ahead and put the Starburst on there. And I just put it a little bit up from the score line. The next thing I did on this one was to put my candy cane in and then I put a piece of washi tape around it. And this is Stampin' Up's Year of Cheer, but you can use any washi tape you have. For this one, I'm going to put the candy cane in, and I'm going to use a piece of um, designer series paper. And this is a half inch strip by six inches. And what I'm going to do is actually tape it to the front first, so I make sure I get that right. And I'm just going to put a piece just right across the front. And I'll go ahead and center that. Okay, and holding the candy cane in there, I went ahead and just bent it with my fingers to kind of curve it around my little pocket. And then turning it over, I put some snail on the back as well. And I'll get my candy cane in there in a minute. And 
and then just line the pieces up with each other and tape it down. Oops, not quite lined up. There we go. All right, I centered this part of the candy cane in the bottom and kind of lined this parallel up with the side. And then what I did was I just did use a pencil and I just marked a mark on both sides, just right underneath the candy cane. And that's where I'm gonna punch for my linen thread. So let me take that out and I have the eighth of an inch punch or the, you could use this, the 1 16th inch punch as well. And I just punched it right where my marks were. I have a piece of linen thread. Let's see, I have it doubled up about, probably about 18 inches doubled up. And I made a loop, put it down through, push it back up through from the back. And then I put my candy cane back in and I just tied it in place. And I made a rather small bow. And then just clipped the edges. Okay, then I went and took my star and I used a mini dimensional. And put it up in the night sky. So it can lead the wise men to our Lord. And next I made the manger. And if you saw my little manger treat box, I did it in a very similar way. If you hold it so it's in landscape, the inch and a half is uh, horizontal and the inch and a quarter is vertical, go ahead and fold it in half. They would call that hot dog style, I believe. <laughs> and from about a quarter of an inch from the folded side, cut from, the from a quarter of an inch up to the corner. and then turn it over and do the same thing on the other end. A quarter of an inch on the folded side and then cut straight up to the corner. And this is the shape it gives you. And then what I did is I just cut parallel to one of the sides to make the legs of the manger up to the score line, about a quarter of an inch. Did the same thing with the other side and then I folded the legs up out of the way and I simply cut away the piece between the legs. And that gives us our manger. So let me take the one inch circle of gold foil and I'll take the three quarters of an inch piece of very vanilla and I'm going to use a couple of glue dots. and stick baby Jesus' head onto the, well, halo, which is what it ends up being. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it underneath. I'm going to adhere underneath the end of the manger. So I'll put a glue dots, just a couple of them right here on the lower edge. Cool. And then I'll just put it on under one end of the manger. So let's go ahead and attach it. And where it touches the candy cane, I'm going to put a glue dot on each end of the manger and one on each of the legs. All right, and I just lined it back up again. All right, the last thing that I did was I went ahead and made a loop out of some gold ribbon. I pulled the loop through and then pulled the tails in so that I had a little, uh, so I had a hanger. Um, on this one, you don't have to do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bow with that same gold ribbon and put it on the top. 
I'm just going to pull it through and make a bow with it. And so we have a very sweet little manger treat. It would make a great stocking stuffer or a favor, a little gift to some of the faith formation classes. Just something to remind you of why we're celebrating the season. So I hope you enjoyed the project today and give it a try. It goes very quick and you can use what you have. If you need any more information, please go to rejoiceandcreate.com. And until we meet again, I hope your days are blessed. Bye.